Hey guys, we got a little bit of an issue going on here around the house again. Um, as you know, we have snakes around here sometimes and actually probably all the time, but we just don't see them. And I can hear them dropping from the trees and see them out of the corner of my eye, sometimes dropping down from trees and hitting the ground. Some of them are pretty good size. Some of them are just tiny. And then sometimes occasionally you'll see them, you know, go sliding into the grass or something. And then one time I was sitting over in the other cabana and I had a, a pit viper sitting right next to me and I could tell by its markings and everything it was a pit viper and by its head. Um, and pit vipers are, are not really aggressive. And when, when you guys uh, get all worried about snakes, you really need to find out what snakes are in the area and how aggressive they are. Are they moderately aggressive? Are they docile and just kind of leave you alone? If you step on them, they might bite you or something like that. It makes a big difference because if you have cobras around you and they're pretty active in, and they're uh, dangerously aggressive, then you gotta start to worry. It's the smaller ones. And I, the reason why I'm talking about this is this, because we had um, two cats die within the past month. And I came out here yesterday, right around noon time, I think it was, or, or maybe late in the noon. And I was out here walking around and what happened was um, I found a dead cat inside the cabana. And usually when a cat dies around here, they don't live that long <clears throat> per se in this area because a lot of them get bitten by snakes. And the guy down below was the guy that that was the one that told me that. Um, he had a cat and I guess it got it bit by a snake. They, they tend to chase after the snakes in the grass thinking it's like a toy or they want to get rid of it. And you know, as soon as they see something moving like a mouse or whatever, they go after it. Well, snakes here is one thing a cat should never go after. And you, and you need to be kind of concerned if you do have animals such as dogs and cats. Uh, dogs, not so much. They usually don't even notice um, the snakes and stuff, but the cats do because they're out in the grass roaming around looking for rodents or whatever, and they run into the snakes all the time. And cats, like around where I'm at, you can see it's it's pretty pretty well forested around here and down below. And around here, um, even though we're in Tracy Martires, the capital, our area is very well wooded. Uh, we have rare birds here. Uh, we have very colorful birds here, blue, yellow, uh, red. I've seen like a, a, a type of parrot or, or canary. I think it was a parrot down here. It was a red parrot. Uh, we've seen uh, Philippine fairy blue birds, and we've seen some yellow bird here too that uh, are very rare. And with all the birds, that also attracts a lot of snakes here. And it's funny because they'll sneak up on you and they'll sit right next to you. Like the story that I told before when I was sitting in the other cabana, uh, me and my friend were talking. I just happened to look down because I was getting ready to put my hand down and I, th I thought I saw something moving. When I looked down, this, the, the pit viper was all coiled up next to me. He wasn't bothering me. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He wasn't, you know, he, he just kind of looked at me. I looked at him and I, you know, s slid towards the window and started getting the heck out of it. Both of us, both me and... Um, the man that was there both moved rather quickly to get out of there, you know, and it was a little bit scary. But anyway, um, you know, you got to be careful. You have to be careful here. And I just want to make you more aware of this because, you know, if you have animals, be careful of those animals too. Because, you know, you're just, most people just look out for themselves and don't look out for their dog or their cats or whatever. Cats in the Philippines should only be let out for a few minutes and let back in if you're gonna let them out or get a litter box or whatever, or have a pen for them to stay in uh, that they can walk around pretty you know, decently and, and get around inside that pen. Make a pen for them outside that's safe, uh, snake free, uh, put mothballs around it or whatever um, so that the snakes will stay away. And also you can put, you can get um, snake repellent things that you put in the ground. They're, they're powered by uh, solar, um, you put them in the ground and I think they make thumping noises or something like that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how they work, but they make a noise that repels snakes. And, and usually snakes do not like banging or, or, or so if you, the more noise you make by thumping your feet and stuff like that, they usually go away from that. That, that gets rid of them. You know, so when you make a lot of noise and you bang and bang and you thump, you know, snakes hate that. They just don't like that at all. So it's probably what, what the thing does. I'm not quite sure, like I said, but um, like mole repellers, you know, those will work too. You know, anything that makes like a noise in the ground will repel the snakes. So get something like that. They're, 
I think they're 220 pesos. I'm not sure if it's for one or four or whatever it is. You may want to check on Lazada for that. You know, if you're if you're out in the grass at your house or whatever, and you're you live in the provinces or you don't live in the provinces and you're just worried about snakes, put those out. Um, most places in the cities are pretty safe. Where I'm at, I would say it's it's probably on the higher end of having snakes here, and you got to be worried. And uh, you know. In Luzon, we have our share of poisonous snakes, but the southern islands tend to have more. And you can look up which islands have snakes and stuff. But when you look up snakes, like I said, look up whether they're aggressive or not. You know, if they're aggressive, moderately aggressive, or they're docile and they stay away from you, or they won't bother you or whatever, that's that's what you're looking for. Then you don't have to worry too much about them unless you step on them or something like that. The ones that are aggressive, that's when you gotta worry because some snakes travel fast, the aggressive ones, like cobras and stuff, they, they kind of travel fast when they travel. You see them moving fast and they'll go at you sometimes. They can be aggressive when they see something moving. Uh, those are the ones you gotta worry about. Moderately aggressive, you still gotta worry a little bit. If you get too close to them, they might try to attack you or whatever. I'm not really up on snakes, but I have been studying this lately and I just figured I'd put out that news because I was reading up, up on some articles about snakes uh, in the Philippines, we've seen a, a coral skein, I believe they call it. Uh, the coral skein has a red band, a yellow band, and a black band. We killed one of those here. That's a very venomous snake. It's very deadly. It can kill you. Um, very poisonous. And I remember uh, as a child seeing that in a book. I had a book all about snakes. I remember reading about that. I remember seeing that picture. I never thought in my lifetime I would ever actually see one, which is kind of cool that I actually got to see one in my lifetime uh, in the wild. And we ended up killing it um, because I didn't want it around. We, we, you know, we had kids around here at the time and it, it became a little bit worrisome. And, you know, I just want to tell you guys, be aware of your surroundings. And if you have food around outside your house or anything and you're getting rodents, you're going to get snakes. If you're out in a, a forested area like where we are and there's a lot of birds and there's a lot of insects and stuff like that, you're going to get snakes, you know. So, and when you see those snakes, and I'm not telling you to go out and kill all the snakes in the neighborhood or whatever, because there are good snakes out there that will kill bugs and insects and rodents and stuff like that. And and most of the snakes out there are actually good snakes. Um, but there are some snakes that look pretty close to each other. So um, I'd rather be safe than sorry and kill kill the snakes that are, um, you know, that I think might be venomous or whatever. And usually you can tell by the colors. Um, a lot of the green snakes are pretty safe okay but you have to look at their head and see if it's a pit viper or whatever you know that's that these are the concerns you have that some snakes look almost identical to the other snakes anyway guys god bless take care i hope you enjoyed today's show guys and be aware and and look up what snakes are on the island that you're on okay and just be careful i i, I want to put this out there for a second time about snakes i think it's very important uh, because of the two cats that died here god bless guys take care